Welcome to this video on using the quick analysis shortcut in Microsoft Excel. So if you've got a table of data like myself and maybe you want to look at the formatting, you want to start to look at what tables you can create from it, pivot tables, etc. Even what functions you might want to do, so what you might want to sum and things like that, then you can use a very quick shortcut to do all of that in one go and get some previews of what that might look like, which is so useful if you're not quite sure what you might want to do with your data. So I'm just going to select the data on my table and I'm just going to scroll down so that when I do the shortcut, the box will appear and you can see it on the recording really nicely. And to do the shortcut, I'm just going to do Control and Q. And then I'll get a box that has five different sections on so that I can select different things. And like I said, you've got formatting options there. You can look at charts, totals, which is your functions, your sums and things like that. Tables, which is your pivot tables and then spark lines. So if I hover over any of these, you will see it'll start to change the information. Now, you can only see part of my data at the top. I'm actually going to just get rid of the ribbon. So I can showcase a little bit more and remember control and Q. And you can see more of that information as I hover over there. Sometimes it won't show a massive amount. It depends what's selected. But you can see I've got some really nice options there with formatting. If I move over to charts, then you can see I've got a few there. And when I hover, it will give me a preview of what that chart might look like. So maybe I don't want to create it. I just want to have a quick look because it might help me analyze the data a little bit easier and just highlight maybe if something stands out. Like I've got a product there that sold a lot more than anything else. Why is that? You can have a look at all of your tables. If you go to totals, this, these are some functions that you might want to use on the data. Again, it's using a bit of AI. It's using its cleverness to suggest things to you. So if I hover over these, you can see I've got count options. I've got percentages. I've got running totals. I've got sums. You can see there on the right hand side. So again, it will just give you an idea and you can obviously click on these and use these or you can just look at the preview to help you understand your data better. Tables there, you have pivot tables. Again, if you hover, you're going to see a quick view of what that pivot table might show you. It might be, like I said, enough to do at this point or you might want to click on it and then dive into it a little bit more but you get some super useful previews that will really help you out and finally you've got spark lines so again if i hover you can see the spark lines appear on the right hand side and that will help you to just again analyze that data if you don't select anything it will just show you a preview and then as soon as you move away it will come off but i find this quite useful to just really interrogate my data and to have a look at lots of different things at the same time, whether it's formatting to help that data pop out, whether it's charts, whether I'm using functions, so I get to totals and, and things like that to help me really understand my data, whether it's pivot tables or spark lines. This is a really quick way that you can have a look at all of those in one go without changing your data and just getting some previews of what that might look like. So just as a quick reminder, that shortcut there was Control and Q. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.